is it just me or does anybody else buy the big huge bag of peppers it has like six in it but you think to yourself it's cheaper I gotta get this big bag it's the same price and then I have like four peppers left that I don't ever know what to do with so I was thinking today I'm gonna make some stuffed pepper soup but then I got to thinking what if I put some cabbage in it because I like stuffed cabbage too so I couldn't make up my mind so I'm thinking hmm I might just make some stuffed pepper slash stuffed cabbage soup-ish because I don't really want it real loose. I kind of want like thick so I can put it over some gravy. I mean, no, not gravy. Like a gravy so I can put it over some rice. I think I'm going to start out with spraying the bottom of my pan with a little spray so I don't have to count a lot of oil points. And I'm going to throw in peppers, carrots, cabbage, onion, garlic. Let that soften a little bit until right before it burns. Then I'll throw in the diced tomatoes. <laughs> Make the pan go shh. <laughs> so, um, and I don't actually have any beef broth right now, so I'm just going to make some, take some RO water and make some beef broth with the soup base. And I'm going to add some Italian just for the flavors. And I might add smoked paprika, some ground mustard. Tony's has heat in it, so if you're not huge on heat, you could leave out either one, but I might add a little hot sauce, the cayenne hot sauce. Cayenne hot sauce. I might add that in case it's not quite hot enough. I don't know. It's a work in progress. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> oh, you know what else, too? I might add a bag of corn. Yeah, I might add a bag of corn. Ooh, look at my grapes, you guys. Hey, they're taking over the fridge, all these frozen grapes. <laughs> There's some over here, too. Look. <laughs> I don't have room for food. I gotta make jelly or something. Oh, and a bag of hamburger. I already have hamburger cooked. So I'll probably throw some of that in there too. I'll keep you guys posted. Carrots. And, oops. Picked a few carrots. And just gonna chop the ends off and get them into pieces. Sean and I like carrots, so I'm doing a lot, but we don't mind the skin, so. I just kind of half peel them, like the bad spots, you know, like, ugh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> just want nothing weird in my soup. <laughs> sure what size these I think these will cook down too fast if I put them all together in there I don't know those, those carrots seem like they'll take longer in the cabbage and the onion I think they'll just wait on the peppers and not throw them right in right away Paper plate so I don't have to do dishes. 
Thing with this, I think I'm just gonna do kind of big cubes so it doesn't melt too far in, you know. About that. Yeah, that'll break down. Okay, guys, while I was setting stuff up for the shot, get opening cans and stuff, I remembered I might want some brown sugar alternative in it. It'll be, um, you can use what kind you want, but that's the kind that I'm using. Zero calories per serving. Replaces sugar one to one. If you're baking, and you kind of gotta, okay, you gotta be more precise. But I don't right here have to be super precise, so I'm gonna put three inches of garlic. And let that start doing its magic. Everything's breaking down so nice. Peppers in. That'll cool everything down. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my can of tomatoes. Oops, sorry. And my tomatoes. Two cans because we like them. You could do one can, you could do sauce, you don't have to have tomatoes. Then it wouldn't be a stuffed pepper. You gotta have some kind of tomatoes. <laughs> Not really, you can stuff a pepper without tomatoes, I guess. I don't know, I've learned there's no uh, no saying one thing on YouTube, as I'm sure as you do. Someone has a recipe that has no tomatoes. <laughs> or 15 different recipes, you know how that is. Every country, I, it's so fun to read the comments. Have you ever seen all the countries? And they're like, they tell you what this would be in their country what it's called. Wow, it's so wicked cool. It's like, wow. Well, I don't have any broth, so. This is two cups of water. And two more cups of water. So four cups total. So now we're just going to pretend like that was beef broth that we put in there. <laughs> and let that all break down together. And you can put your bouillon base, soup base, you know, in the water ahead of time if, you, if that worries you. But like I said, this has to simmer, so I know it's all going to go in together. Feel free to add more. If you want it more beefy, add more if you want it. And then I'm adding some Italian herb. Same thing, better than bouillon. I was gonna do one of those. Yeah, maybe one, maybe another one. I would say that it's three, three of these equals one of these. So you go to your taste. It is a big pot of soup. If you like the herbs, do a lot, you know? Or start slow and taste and then add more, you know? If it's not quite enough for you. That way it ends up the way you want it. It doesn't matter what people do on, on videos. If you don't like it, <laughs> then it won't be good. So do it to your taste. 
Taste as you go. Has anybody seen Hell's Kitchen? Chef Ramsay? It's raw! <laughs> Hopefully it won't be raw. Okay, so the spices, spices I'm going to measure out for you guys. Because I don't want to guesstimate. So this is the teaspoon. I'm just going to put a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And mustard. Because why not? And if you hate these or you're allergic to them, by all means, leave them out. And that was a teaspoon of each of those. And I'm going to add a tablespoon. I was showing you, this is a tablespoon. It's not packed in anymore. but So there's a little bit extra, but it's a tablespoon of brown sugar. Brown, one tablespoon of brown sugar replacement. <laughs> and I'm going to stir it all in. Get it going. Tony's. This is heat, Cajun heat, so you add how much you like, not how much I add. <laughs> you want it to have a little kick. I do a good sprinkle across the top. But it's it's funny because I put a good sprinkle in it thinking I don't want to put too much. So I used to worry my kids wouldn't like it if it was too hot and then they'd, they'd put more in stuff. <laughs> like, okay, well, now I know. But it's easier to add and take it away so like I said if you're if you're sensitive to heat taste it as you go mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a little bit of hot sauce too one two three four five cayenne hot sauce because why not yum regular pepper as well. You just sprinkle some pepper in. And I told you guys about it. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because adding a whole bag because on Weight Watchers it's free. <laughs> Pretty much all these vegetables are free. And that's the goal is to fill up on vegetables and not Dairy Queen. <laughs> Sorry guys I was preaching to myself there. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and this was a bag of it is I don't know if I wrote it where anybody could see. No it's backwards on there. It was 10 ounces of hamburger that was already cooked and the fat all drained off. I think I'm going to add some amino acids. Let me show you guys those right here. Sorry. Look with amino acids. Some people buy coconut amino acids. I'm doing a full tablespoon because I like things savory, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, so I'm going to turn it down, guys. Turn it down to a simmer, but not too low. My stove, when it simmers, kind of shuts off, basically. So down to a simmer. I'm going to cover it lightly. I also thought I'd show you. See, there's that container that tried to kill me the other day. Let's see if I can do this without it trying to kill me. Yep. Okay. This is just a big gallon bag with a bunch of individual bags of rice. Little one cup servings. So, Sean and I know anytime we want to grab a one cup of rice, or if we want to split it and only have a half a cup, we know how much is what. And it's six points for one full cup. 
in the stir. I think this is probably more than four servings. I don't know though. <laughs> so we'll do two scoops and a scoop of broth. Oh, that's delicious. All right, that's a serving. I put it over six points of rice and three points, so nine point serving. Good morning, guys. I'm making some coffee before I go over to the meeting to wake me up. Although I find I never end up drinking it and always just bring it back home. So maybe I should just leave it in the fridge. But anyways, I'm still making it. <laughs> Let's see, we'll make some coffee, some maple pecan pie coffee again, because that was really good last week. I really enjoyed that. And if you get a chance, you should definitely grab the maple pecan pie cured cups from Aldi's and give them a try. I mean, they're not organic, so I know that's against them, but one box a year is not gonna hurt me. So gotta try them while they're there. <laughs> In the truck getting ready to go in there to weigh in and I know I say this every week but I'm just so oh I hate this I don't I guess that's why it works for me but it doesn't feel like it's working this week and I'm so sad <laughs> and Sean reminded me before we went to bed that we didn't even eat out this week at all like even after church on Sunday we came home you know and um, did skillet hash browns with no with no oil or you know, like, and fried eggs over them. So we didn't even eat out after church, which is unusual, you know. But for some reason, I just don't feel it today. You know, some days you feel like, yeah, this is going to be cool, you know. But today's not one of those days. Today's one of those days where I walk by the mirror, get ready to go out the door, and I was just like, <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> ah, so... My daughter was just reminding me not to worry about that. So I'm going to try not to worry about that. Try not to be upset. Try not to gain weight on Weight Watchers. It's supposed to be losing weight, not gain. Here we go. We're going in. It's a long walk, but here we go. man you guys oh it's just one of those days and I'm wondering as I was sitting in class and talking to people um I, it's dawning on me that if like if you just watched that that recipe that I did I used beef base which had a lot of sodium in it I'm wondering if that's why I feel so terrible today like uh, like retaining water or something these are the excuses I'm giving myself because I did not, I made good choices all week long. Last Wednesday, right after I was done, I probably made a few more relaxed choices, but you know, not anything worth being up. And I was, I mean, I wasn't up, I was down 0.6. But, you know, like one of the ladies said in there, I have to change my mindset and not feel like the scale determines whether I'm a winner or a loser, you know? <laughs> uh, but it does, it makes you feel like a big loser. And then I laughed because I'm like, I do, I want to be a loser. <laughs> My friend called it food noise. I am tired of the food noise and the food fear. I'm, I'm tired of the food fear. Like, why am I afraid to eat? Why do I have like fear? about everything I put in my mouth I don't I, it's just ridiculous I I'm just weary of worrying about bananas and vegetables and fruit and meat and all this stuff I just I don't know I think that's why it's easy to just shut your brain off and eat fast food and things like that but you don't have all that food noise although you know then you end up in bad shape so can't do that, you know. <sighs> it's one of those days where I gotta keep trudging along. This is my 0.6 down week, you know. I 
I feel like that cat poster hanging on. <laughs> hanging on, hanging on. I don't know. I could use another good weight loss week. I don't feel like I'm eating good enough to, to just be maintaining like this. Maybe, oh, hey, we're going to Nashville. Maybe some hot chicken from Nashville <laughs> will change up my metabolism. Wouldn't that be great, you guys? Wouldn't that be so exciting? Eat Nashville hot chicken and come back and have lost weight. <laughs> Oh no, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's the goal. Always is the goal is to lose weight, but I'm not sure. We'll see how that turns out. But anyways, this week, I'm down point six. So somebody said, uh, like, actually, my leader just said, uh, it's not, <laughs> you think you're just going to start going losing and get to this goal magically, but it's not. Someone else in her class said it's like an EKG. <laughs> and uh, so thankfully I haven't had any upward spikes, but my downward spikes are just, uh, at least they're downward. So I have that going for me, but I'd like them to get a little pep in their step. Just kidding. All right, thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next week. I might be in Tennessee. Well, so I'll just update you. Maybe I'll go to a meeting there. Who knows? Maybe I'll just show you some Nashville chicken. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. Love you. Bye.